Oh boy, it's another one of these cheesy maps, supposedly. Uh, <laughs> this is another Black Ops 3 custom zombies map called Cheese Tower version 1. I'm 99% sure there's more than one cheese theme map in Black Ops 3, but... And there's also a absolute metric ton of zombies here already. What in the heck is going on? <laughs> and there is apparently some mean things posted on the floor and the walls. I don't know why I bought this. I just felt like it'd be good to have two guns because... I tried to play another tower map that was supposedly balanced, and it was absolutely just a pain to play because immediately off the spawn, you have sprinters. Not just these kind of sprinters, like Uberrucked Cold War super sprinters that you gotta be running at like Mach 5 to keep ahead of. Just barely, you know. And, you know, there's no guns off the wall for like four doors in to the map and the doors are expensive i'm like yeah this is not fun to play deal with that and then also it glitching out so i figured i'd try another one and the, well this is what we get some <laughs> like five minute design map with memes everywhere on it and super fast time gameplay zombies i don't even know what this meme is it's just a family guy one Something about Squid Game. Don't really have time to look at too much. So how much is this store? Two thousand. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, yeah, but it's kind of rough. At least I started out with an MPL. <laughs> it is Black Ops One weapons. Um, it's supposed to be a Panzer boss too, I think. Map said it's very hard, but everybody says it's very easy. So far, it's easier than that other map I tried. Not just because the zombies are easier, it's not broken. Oh, this AK-74 is sort of solid. Headshots are. I don't know if I should... Nah. I don't think this map's that difficult that I need to buy a quick revive, and if it is, I will just restart and pick up where I uh, died at, if I actually do die. Do that real quick. So I got a headshot and another gun up here, I think. Is that it? MP5 or... I'm going with the FAL. Just because... I know everybody hates on it, but it's actually low-key decent if you have a good trigger finger. Huh. <laughs> Should have had Deadshot already. Let's go buy the perks, assuming I'm not going to be able to come back. Probably will be able to, though. This is, a. Uh, this is an MWZ wannabe map. It's just a uh, XP farm simulator. <laughs> Except I'm not getting any XP because it's on a custom map. I'm just casually rocking the FAL. And not like a good one either. This is the Black Ops 1 one. The uh, the version that everybody hated so much. Or largely hated. Okay, that zombie. Uh, zombie really wanted to kill me. Okay, 2000. I guess they're all the same price. Infield? Meh. Nah. Enfield's not very interesting. Widow's Wine? Nah. This map's not that difficult yet. I only have 1,500 points. Should probably get some points to get Jug. I think this man messed up and put the FAL that early into the map. It's actually a fairly strong version. It's, it's a one shot to the head. I mean, it is, I guess, technically round six. So yeah, I think um, I'm probably going to start doing some more live streaming. I don't know how often or what day or time for sure. It might just be random. But I kind of feel like I should start doing some streaming. Tend to be what the cool kids do these days. And sometimes I don't have video content. I try to have something and... Keep Fridays like the uh, zombie custom maps, and then Tuesday can be just kind of whatever. Still zombie related because you know YouTube hates when you do stuff that's not one thing. Or I could absolutely fail at it. It's probably what'll happen. Nobody will ever watch it. Oh, I got the flop. I wonder if it should get flopper. Oh, I don't. 
I don't have enough points. Wow, I, did I really burn through that many points? I felt like I had a lot of points and I burned through them really fast. Man, that jug's 2,500. I really wasn't paying attention to that door. Maybe it was more than I thought it was. Try to snipe the zombies with the death machine. Yeah, this is one of these maps that is definitely too easy. Um, but that's fine. Zombies isn't meant to be like a struggle bus game. And I think a lot of people forget about that. You know. It's about having fun. As like all video games. But especially this. Because it's a PvE mode. Um, but it's supposed to be fun. And not boring as hell. And not hard as hell. So it's got to find a good balance. And that's something I think people forget when they make maps. Some are extremely hard, some are extremely difficult, then there are the few that are actually fun. And we have Sir Tanks a lot. Ah, okay, I'm going to go buy PhD real quick because that shouldn't negate the effects of that. Negates that effect in Derizendrak and Origin. Well, no, it's just Derizendrak that has that version of the Panzer, I think. Oh, he's dead. Okay, he don't have a stage health system. Or unless his helmet did fly off and I just didn't really notice it. So, I'm just gonna run back to the bottom, honestly. Or at least... At least down to the FAL. Because honestly, this FAL is strong and I like it. Oh, now PhD decides to, uh... Decides to join us. Should probably use this gun. It'll build points better. Because I don't believe it'll be a one-shot. Or a single shot to the head. I think the FAL is still one shot in it's kind of curious what Season 4 will actually add to uh, MWZ. I know that's coming out. And supposedly the only thing being added is in the season, so it'll be Season 4 Reloaded. And it's only these, uh, quote, unstable rifts that haven't really been confirmed on what they're doing, although the leaks and people have already talked about it, so... But we know from past experience they tend to add and change things that are not on that roadmap and could be other things coming they already come with the uh, beginning of the season or they may actually just add it in with that uh, unstable rift feature see now this map if they were super sprinters might not be bad because you have plenty of room to run and they're all coming from one direction and you start out with a gun an actual decent gun. Gotta find the balance when making a zombies map. Gotta be difficult but not impossible for most players or the average zombies player. And I will give credit. People that play a lot of custom zombies are actually probably better than they what they think. Given that there are some... Dude, why can I not hit that zombie? My aim is so bad. And that was actually my aim, not... Well, the zombies' hitboxes are not aligned or broken, so when you shoot them point blank, it has a 99% chance to hit them. Firing multiple bullets somehow doesn't miss them. People that do play a lot of custom zombies are probably a lot better than the average non-custom zombie map player. Just because we have to play some maps that are extremely difficult or add certain challenges that you never see in official zombie maps like ever. In fact, there's stuff in custom zombies that are then later brought to official zombies because they're like, hmm, that looks like a good idea. That looks fun. Everybody loves that. Let's let's bring it to official and then ruin it. All right, I have 27,000 points. I wonder if I should try to open up some more areas. And I would like Speed Cola or Stamina. Or both. It's supposed to be an ending to this map as well. I don't know how much it is or how long it'll take me to obtain that ending, but we're gonna hopefully. Okay, it's 10,000. I just seen the points go away. So I didn't spend all my money. It was just an expensive door. I got an HK21 on an all. Yes, please. So what is the next door? That one, last one was 10,000. <laughs> 15,000. Okay. So the beginning of this map's easy, but to grind up the points for the doors is going to take a while. HK21 plus Deadshot is overpowered. 
Oh, but Deadshot's useless on PC. You don't get aim assist. Well, I like to just hip fire a lot on PC. It just feels more natural than always having to aim. But whenever I play on PlayStation with a controller, I, I tend to aim. Like, aim strafing is more natural feeling for some reason. On PC, hip fire strafing is more natural feeling. Why? I don't know. Uh, do these zombies not get any more health? I think the zombies health isn't scaling up. That's a shame. I'm pretty sure the HK-21 is not normally a one shot to the head. And I don't even have double tap or anything, so it's not bad. Is all the guns one shot now? Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's just the HK is really buff. Yeah. <laughs> now everything is. Because traditionally Black Ops 1 and, well, I guess World of War weapons are naturally just weak. But when you add them in as mods and port them over to this game, you can essentially make them god tier if you wanted to. Which, that may be the case here. But, I have no way of knowing. Because the zombies haven't necessarily felt very difficult at all. Even though they are runners. The, uh, the lack of them spawning in other places and the lack of their health being increasing or the weapons being really powerful just makes this too easy. Which is fine. Sometimes it's fun to just blast zombies. The only real challenge I'm having in this map so far is the doors are ultra expensive. It does have a really cool perk icon on the map, but the memes are backwards. <laughs> I was gonna say random memes on every wall, but they're uh some of them are backwards and some of them are cut off and not easily understood. Open the fifteen thousand dollar door. About halfway to the top. Wonder how much more expensive everything is gonna get. Definitely want stamina. Cause running is a thing. Okay, that's fifteen thousand. 47 Galil. Elemental pop for 6,000. I don't even. The zombies are not getting tougher. There's no point in even buying stuff like that. The only reason I'd want double taps is just to fire faster, not really for the damage increase. Oh, death machine. The zombies are so far away I can't effectively hit them. Yeah, they're just so far away I can't even effectively hit them. That one zombie just fell into the void. Oh gosh. That makes me wonder if I should not try to fall off this map. Should I test flopper? Just out of a... Uh, if I do fall and it doesn't work, I don't want to have to restart. This map's kind of boring. I just want to beat it and move on with my life. Should buy that log. It has a scope built into it. I can snipe down at the zombies a little easier with. That's the weird thing about the AUG in Black Ops 1, is when you attach the AUG scope, it actually will draw the scope closer to you without drawing the gun closer to you. It doesn't do it in Black Ops 3 because they changed it, and that's why the scope is so small and zoomed out, but... Yeah, these zombies are definitely not getting stronger. Less headshots are, like, instantly deleting them. Just work them back to the spawn, maybe. Get enough hits on them. An insta kill. Looks like it. All right, I got eighteen thousand. Let's go ahead and open that next area up. Seventeen thousand. Okay. Commando. It's kind of nice. What is it? Seventeen thousand. Double tap. There's mule kick. All right, zombies. Can you take any longer to get here? Like. Another reason why they need to have more spawn points as you progress up. It takes so long for them to get here. Even if they are full sprinters for Black Ops 3, they are not getting here fast enough. Such a weird angle to be shooting at zombies. Let's see what all weapons are really in here. A lot of Black Ops 1 weapons. Uh, why not? Yeah, there's no way these zombies are getting more health. They're a little too easy to kill still. 
Yeah, see, there's taking so long to get up to me now. It's not even funny, and that dude about pushed me off the map. That would not have been fun. I like the maps where they give you the uh, infinite and faster stamina up instead of the one that only just doubles your, like, sprint duration. It's such a long, long hike to the top. <laughs> Actually, there may not be any guns. No, it's just double tap. Okay. No points for it, either. Okay. All right, now we're to 20,000 for a, uh, a door. 750 for ammo. Delete that zombie and delete them. Yeah, there's no way they're getting more health. They're just a one shot still. I know double tap increases damage, but it shouldn't increase it that much. I don't think they're like round one health, but they're definitely not no round 17 health zombie. Oh, the glails out. Time for some HK action. Yeah, this is just way too easy. They're like one tap from the HK-21. Like, I don't even have to move at this point. They're just dying instantly. It's almost as easy as MWZ when the uh, zombies just decide to glitch out and not even have to attack me anymore. Seems to happen about every other game anymore. Almost 30,000 points. I don't know how many more doors I need to open, but... Uh, Insta-kill. I don't need insta-kill, man. Zombies are way too easy as is. That's what I needed. Oh, it's auto refilling max ammo too. That's even better. Another max ammo. Okay. Just spam off as many bullets as possible. Try not to get pushed off the map by another zombie. That would be. <laughs> that would be awesome. Just rename the map Easy Mode Tower. <laughs> Because usually these, like, cheese-based maps are, like, really hard sometimes. Usually they're on the more difficult side. Some of them are just absolutely ridiculous. Not even a real reason they need to pack a punch. Either. I mean, ammo increase would be nice, but... Definitely don't need a damage increase. <laughs> Electric Cherry finally doing something. Okay, I got 50,000 points. I think I should go open some doors. Stop spawn camping the zombies for a minute. <laughs> Alright, 20,000 points. There's Mule Kick. What's off the wall up here? <laughs> an MP40. Of course, why would there be an MP40? You know. Was that 20,000? Ah, uh, before I buy that, what all do I have up here? So Wonder Fizz, Pack a Punch, in game, seventy-five thousand. That's very doable. Probably ought to use the MP40. Might be able to make some points with it. Yeah, the MP40 is just destroying them too. So yeah, they're not getting stronger really. We're at a very extremely reduced rate. Like headshots just. Just destroy them instantly. And now I have to wait about an hour for the zombies to get here. Yeah, no, I don't think we're waiting that long. Uh, I'm debating whether I should try to jump down or not. Might be a little risky. Ooh, new can of double points. Run down here and grab this, uh, AK-74, if I could get without getting pushed off the map. What was that? Death Machine? Alright, let's grab the AK-74 first. And then... Use the Death Machine for a minute. Yeah, this map is, uh... It's actually really easy. The only real challenge to it is, is just getting enough points and patience to uh, open all the doors to get to the end game. But before I know it, I'll have that 75,000 points, and it won't really matter. I mean, they're finally starting to feel just a little stronger. But at the same time... Round 22, a stock Galil should not be melting them the way it is. 
Even if it does have double tap, it should not be this strong. Yeah, it's still a... HK is a one-shot to the head still. Come on. Definitely want double points. Get that ending a little faster. Oh, that might be actually starting to get a little tougher finally. Or, or it's just the Galil. This, this is back to like just immediately deleting them. Oh, I'm at 60,000 already. Almost there. I don't even have to pack punch either. <laughs> I need like 3,000 more points and the map is beat. Or at least I think it. Oh! Are they one shot? Nope. All right, I need to do that so I can reload. I need to find out if the HK is actually a one shot still. I'm like 700 points shy of the ending too. Maybe it's not. Maybe they are actually getting tougher finally. So maybe it's like normal scaling of the health, but it's just the guns are really extremely overpowered. Which, that's very possible. I mean, they are ported from... No Why did it just switch? Why does it do that randomly? I'll be shooting and it just switches weapons. Alright, enough of this nonsense. I'm going to go buy the ending. Actually. For science. Maybe. Okay, flopper does work. <laughs> At least if I would have died, I could have said, yes, I've essentially beat the map. I just didn't buy the ending because, well, I had to test something real quick. So actually, AK-74. Not doing so good. Even with headshots. I mean, it is killing them, but not powering through them like the uh, HK-21 was. I'm gonna go Rambo for a minute. I'm gonna waste all my ammo before I go to buy the ending. That's what I gotta do. I just gotta hold down the trigger, fire all my bullets before I go to the ending. Just mag dump. <laughs> and then the HK 21's like, hold my beer. I'm gonna just delete these zombies real quick. Yeah, HK 21 is a bit beefy. Which makes sense. It is a 308. Firing weapon. And 308 is a stout round. I don't care who you are or what you are, it is going to mess you up. So fun, I'm just hip firing and I'm actually hitting them accurately that far away. HK21, the death machine we have at home. <laughs> what that is acting like right now. And now I'm out of ammo. Alright. Now we go by the ending with our 111,000 points. <laughs> Tell you what I'll do before we uh, end the game. I want to see if there's a custom pack a punch camo since I have points to spare. Uh, it's just a standard Black Ops 4. Oh, it's got a noob tube. Oh yeah. Grenade launcher is uh. It's not terrible. Oh well. Anyways, this has been the Cheese Tire version 1, I think. Oh, actually, buy perks. Yeah, it's a pretty easy map. It's fun, but too easy. Grab the vulture egg, because why not? Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next map. Can I jump off? See ya! <laughs>